but you've also done, is it, uh, did you do a punching game? This is it? hard game. She Whoa. invented this game. What? Oh, I know. <laughs> We're so close. Don't touch me! Get away from me! I just wanted to protect my drink. <laughs> uh, she taught us this game. I didn't, t I brought it. You did bring it. We used to do it in the Hunger Games in like a normal way, because you're bored, you know, you spend minimum 12 hours on set, yeah. so it's like, you know, you see the circle, you get punched. And on Hunger Games, it's normal. I brought it to these psychos, and now it's it's truly, truly dangerous. Did you look? <gasps> <laughs> That's normal. Yeah. And that was light. That's terrifying. That was light. Oh God, that's is this what a vagina looks like? No, I'm looking. <laughs> 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 Jack just doing, sat there like that, like something's going to happen. <laughs> like E.T. with a beard. <laughs> How do I get unloaded on? <laughs> you your eyelashes. <laughs> Oddly, you met your wife on the set of Doctor Who. Yeah. But she is the daughter of a Doctor Who. Yes. Which must drive Doctor Who people into a frenzy. I mean, it is statistically quite unlikely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it, oh, there we all are. Look, there's the three of us. Yeah. Oh, that's so embarrassing. Bad. I'm wearing the same suit. Come on. <laughs> and tie. <laughs> that doesn't make me look very windswept and celebrity tastic, does it? <laughs> I mean, it's a very nice one. You wouldn't want me to just wear it once, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no. You know, you know it works. You know it works. <laughs> Some sort of fan story. Uh, yeah, well, sort of. Well, it's like someone's. It's our friend, our mutual friend, yes. a very dear old friend, Eddie, is a massive fan of. Oak. Not that old, we should say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, he will be watching. <laughs> uh, he will be watching. Sorry, Eddie, but he's a massive fan of Oprah, as we all know. And oh, you don't, but he is. And uh, <laughs> and like really mega fan. And so 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 the so the the book's called that because a story in the book um, is the title of that. So what happened was. I uh, was invited to this big event where Oprah was getting honoured, getting an award. And so I thought, I've got to take Eddie as my date. So I did, and we got there, and he was just like frenzied. He was like, I've got, I want to get a photo with Oprah, I want to get a photo with Oprah. And I was like, that might not happen, Eddie, and I'm not going to guarantee <laughs> it. And I am not going to be, because I thought if that does happen, I'd have to go and say, Oprah, my friend Eddie wants <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. That, you yeah. know, you just have to, it might happen, but just you, anyway. I said, and you know how when, People come up to me in bars and we're having dinner and they ask for a photo and how pissed off you get about that on my behalf. And he went, I see your point. I still want a photo. <laughs> <laughs> so so we were at this thing and uh, there was a big dinner and it was like crazy. Like Oprah was at this sort of central big table with like Steven Spielberg and Ev Jesus and everybody. And we were... <laughs> We were all like at these tables going around. We were sort of like satellites, uh, you know, kind of going around Oprah. And Barbara Walters was hosting the thing. And, uh, and she went, and here's Ishtak Perma. He is the And here's Jesse Norman. She's singing away. And then it's just like full on. And then at one point she goes, and now we're going to have a break. And after the break, Oprah. And we're like, oh my God. <laughs> so we're, and so Gail, Oprah's friend, came over to say hello to us. And, uh, and we were at this kind of, Siberia like table. We were like not we were kind of near the loose. And I could see Eddie a bit like and so but Gail came over, so that was like the nearness of Gail, because she's Oprah's best friend. And then and then she turned around to talk to someone and Eddie said, Ed, so her bum was right there, and Eddie said, Take a picture, take a picture. <laughs> so, so I take a picture of Gail's bum and Eddie's head. And then and then he went, and, and we saw Oprah, she was way over there, and, and he said, Take a picture of Oprah far away and me and the thing. So I had this the camera, I was trying to zoom it in, and it wasn't my, it was my camera, it was my husband Grant, so I was a little unused to it, I was like, trying to zoom it, and I got it, her in focus, and then suddenly she stood up, I was like, oh, fuck you, Oprah. <laughs> and then she stood up and started, and I was like, oh, Christ, and then I realised she was coming towards us because she was going to the loo, and I was like, Eddie, she's coming, she's going to come, she's going to come right by here, she's going to totally come, this could, this moment could happen, and so I'm trying to unzoom the thing to get back, <laughs> He's all freaking out. I can feel his energy. He's like a tingly little thing. And then he, and I, and he stands up and he kind of blocks her path. And, I, and, and, and I'm trying to fiddle the thing. And I hear him in this little choir boy voice going, Oprah, may I have a photo with you? <laughs> it would be my dream. <laughs> Oprah went, you got to get bigger dreams. <laughs>
<laughs> so then I, I snapped the picture. I snapped the picture, and is this one of the worst pictures I've ever taken? I'm sure you have it for us all to see. Uh, we this is the picture that Eddie <laughs> dreamed oh, of getting. <laughs> I actually think it's perfect because, you know, it's absolutely what that moment was like. Oprah, Oprah is a goddess and she can only be half present. <laughs> yeah. well, Eddie was a bloody mess. <laughs> but it was 1995 and that was a very special year for the man sitting beside you, Peter Capaldi. This is what I understand. Because that was the year you won an Oscar. We were there together. I won an Oscar, yes, for a little uh, short film. I didn't even know that they gave Oscars for short films. But I'd made this little short film because I was interested in filmmaking. And the next thing I knew, I was being telephoned and being told that you were nominated for an Oscar. I thought, oh, we didn't even have any money. We didn't know how to get over there. Right? But so we managed to cobble together enough money to get over there. And we found ourselves at the Oscars with yourself and uh, lots of other um, film stars. And uh, they called my name. And I got up on the stage and I looked down and it was a huge auditorium like this. And it just looked to me as if it was full of... Um, you know, an Arnold Schwarzenegger look-alike, you know, a Steve Martin look-alike, a Tom Hanks yeah, yeah. look-alike, except that was the real thing. Uh, and it was sort of orgasmic. I don't know how it was for you, but for me it was... <laughs> it was orgasmic. <laughs> but I knew it's my last story. <laughs> but I knew as well it wouldn't last, because obviously when you've just made a little short film, it doesn't have quite the same impact uh, on your career, and also I was an actor, so that just confused me. But three billion people saw you. Yeah, but as you know, they take you backstage and they put you on a kind of conveyor belt, and they take you into like a hangar, which has got the world's press in it, and they put you on a stage. And all those pictures you see of people holding up their Oscar, they're sort of taken on that stage, and then they say, "Would anyone like to talk to Peter Capaldi, winner of the short film uh, <laughs> for 1995?" <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> no, I mean, seriously, not one person. <laughs> Just the tumbleweeds blew through oh, my life. <laughs> one part of ageing has affected you, the uh, additional grooming that is required. I like to groom, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, well, they, are you? You must be already. Oh, please, all over. Well, yes, you get... Have you, have you gotten a little, you no. know... No. No, really? Well, yeah, you're a young, very young, young, young man. I like to take a tweezer. What do you do? I like to take a tweezer and get the yeah. odd hair out of here. Oh, no, I need a flymo. It's a style. <laughs> well, I don't want to get them. I don't want to shave it. You know, that's an option. I like to get them out at the root. And I kind of... It's like weeding. It's like the, the thrill of weed, the delight of weeding. Because you get that thing and you... Uh, you're clean as a whistle. Look at that. And... Uh, <laughs> You get them out. It's nice if you can... I got it, I got it. So there's that, and then there's nose, the, the nose issue. I have had a bit of that. I have have you? Yeah, yeah. What's your, may I ask? It's a trivial and mundane and not interesting thing, but what, may I ask you, because I'm interested in it. It's like you would imagine I do, which is... <clears throat> <laughs> You rip them out by hand. Oh, yeah. is that oh, you're too young. You don't, you don't have them, do you? You don't I have them. I don't have pubes yet. I, uh... <laughs> 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 One day. But you don't pluck them out. You have a you have quite an odd technique, I think. No, I don't pluck them out. Nobody plucks them. You're not you're serious about that. You I don't pull them out. You actually that. pull them it's out. It's horrible. Pull That's not out. the right it's idea. I mean, I guess he it's... He does it when he's on his bike. And then... <laughs> <laughs> it's personal. No, I had for a second, I had somebody had given me, because you can buy one of those... Yeah, I've got one of those. You do? Yeah. And, and those you, you know those things? Well, it's meant to... It's kind of a rotary yeah. thing, and you go... And you go like... Uh, I don't trust it. And I'm much, much better... With a pair of scissors, I take a nice pair of scissors. Well, not to get too detailed, but here, I take my razor. I take my Gillette number two, this part right here, I, I, I razor that very carefully, very carefully, because you can get it very close, and then there's something going on here and all around there, and I get a scissor, and there I am, and I know just, and I know just what to do. And this happens now about once a week, I'd say. Once a week. Yes, I get, I get, I'm, I'm, I, I, I guess I'm living, you know. I, 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 <laughs> Things are happening. Well, it looks good on you. It looks good on I you. I did it recently, so it's it's uh, quite quite uh, good, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful man. So you get a call, 
Uh, yeah. And do they tell you what it's for? Or just go, oh, we'd like a meeting? Or do you know that you're going to be the new assistant? Um, well, my agent called me and said uh, they're looking for a girl to play the new companion for the new Doctor. So, um, so that's all I knew, and I just did an audition with the casting director, and um, and then I got a recall, and I had to um, go into the BBC sort of studios and uh, say I was auditioning for something called Panic Moon, which is an anagram of companion. So they take it that seriously. They take it that seriously. Yeah, it is top, top, top secret. I can't use that anagram anymore, then. No. <laughs> <laughs> Poonani. No. But now uh, the, the reaction to you has been so amazing, and you have, uh, have you been voted or declared? Everyone just says you're the sexiest Doctor Who assistant of all time. Yeah. What's that all about? I don't well, know. you were a stripper in the first episode, weren't you? Kissogram. Sorry. Not a stripper. A kissogram. Yeah. Not a stripper. No. <laughs> Is the kissogram a stripper? Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh. It's an anagram of stripper. <laughs> and it's not as well paid. <laughs> yeah, it's like a badly paid stripper <laughs> in your house. Is it true or not that you, you kept a lightsaber? Uh, I officially don't own a lightsaber. Oi! <laughs> Props guy gave me one. No, I didn't. <laughs> because we bought some uh, oh, lightsabers, which oh, I think they, they're pretty good, aren't they? Now, oh, that one's on already. Oh, uh, hang on. Oh, hang on. You have to know what you're doing with these, you y see. You do, though. Oh, yeah. do, do you want that? Is that the, which one would you like? Which one looks like yours? Um, the one in the middle is, I think, uh, the, the one I use. That's, uh, that's Alec Guinness's one. Oh, then it's yours. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. This these one. are really nice. It's amazing. How do you turn that Can one on? Can you bang them against each other? Will they break? Oh, no, they won't. <laughs> You make the sound effects yourself, don't you? Do you want, a, do you want one? Not at all. No, there's one. Come on. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Go, go. You get a good swing. Oh, look at one. that! <laughs> what? That's fantastic. But can you make the noises? Oh, can I? Is it true that you did this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've been asked this a thousand times. Yeah. Like in Rocky, they did this in Rocky as well, where they had to... You would make the sound effects yourselves. <laughs> so they had to go back and, like, sound was a nightmare because it was a bunch of people going, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't. Uh, there, uh, to begin with, it was quite difficult not to make the sound. Yeah. And also when it goes away, because it makes that nice shh noise when it goes down. Oh, yes. How, how do you switch Have you heard off? that in Rocky, the partly, like, the, in the first film particularly, it's just loads of sound effects of Sylvester Stallone going, <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's so have you... the light. Let's have the lights down. Let's have the lights down. Okay, so lights you have down. to you have to start them up. Oh, okay. So okay. off, off. <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> uh, yeah, much there, done. there. Oh, there, there. It's off now. There oh, there you go. go. Sorry, there you got go. it. There you go. Okay, okay so okay. when you put it on, it has to make this sound noise. <laughs> 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 so good at it! I did I spent months doing it. Mine keeps going off, though, when I twirl it. I could... Ow! <laughs> well, it's a break! They'll break! They're oh, 150 see, quid on. each! <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how much are they cost? 150 quid each. They're good, though, aren't they? If I... Are you going to prick it? If I throw you something, can you get... Get over... Do it over here. Hang on, I'll throw this here. Wait, 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 who's who? You just... You, there you go. Actually, I shouldn't be throwing. Can you Maybe... can you throw a ball, Chris? <laughs> oh, can don't you... be like that. I can't Graham. throw anything. Don't be no, no. no. You go, you go, you go, you go. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> All right, I go, we're going. Let's baseball it. Baseball then. it instead. Okay. okay. Yeah! <laughs> 